I'm about to give you a superpower. Seriously, once you can turn a voice memo on your phone into a fully finished song in Ableton, the world of music will open up to you and you will feel so empowered as a producer. If you don't know how to write songs yet, that's totally fine. I have a video to teach you how I write songs and it's the most efficient and easy way to write songs if you're gonna produce them after. So if you wanna learn how to write, go to the video right up here. And if you already have some voice memos that you wanna turn into full songs, then go ahead and open up Ableton and meet me on the computer. So my friend Mark Barlow sent me a voice memo and we've worked together in the past we made an album called Soul Hymns, which has like 70 million streams or something like that. Pretty insane. But all that to say, we work well together and he willingly sent me this voice memo that we get to play with. And I just want to point something out before you even start. When you record a voice memo and you want to produce it into a full song, it's really, really helpful if you record it while listening to a click or a metronome. So what you can do is you'll probably need two phones or a computer and a phone. And you can download this app called Metronome, figure out what your BPM is, and just record your demo to the click. So basically you can have one phone, put headphones on, and then the other phone recording the demo and record the voice memo to a click because it's gonna make it so much easier for you to produce it out. Now in this demo that Mark sent, they were playing along to a drum loop, which makes it easier to sync it up to the grid in Ableton and have everything go with a click. I'm just telling you this because it's gonna make your life so much easier. So this is what they sent me. Let me just show you the first few seconds. There's a nice little voice memo of Marky and Jacob. <laughs> So you can hear there's a drum loop, there's some guitar, and there's some vocals as well. Here we go. So what we can do is we can actually split these sounds up and it might make it a little bit easier to work with them. I'm gonna go ahead and open Lalal AI, L-A-L-A-L, -L -L, and I'm gonna click on vocal and instrumental right here and I'm just gonna select the file. We're gonna upload it, it's gonna process it for us. All right, let's take a listen. It's a nice little voice memo of Marky and Jacob. Is it selfish? Me to want you so badly. I've been holding on wow, that's actually pretty incredible that it did that. All right, I'm just gonna log in really quick. That way I can process the entire file. Okay, now I've downloaded each part. So we have the vocals and the instrumental. So now we can finally open up Ableton. And just as a word of wisdom, if you're recording a demo on a voice memo, you can just record like piano and vocals or guitar and vocals. You don't have to split everything up like this. Also another side note, I'm not this greasy. I just took a shower. <laughs> I actually smell really good right now. Okay, so let's figure out the BPM of this. What I like to do to figure out the BPM of something is you can either ask the person who recorded the voice memo or if you're recording it yourself, obviously you know the BPM. What I like to do is find a kick So right there, that's right here. This is right where a kick starts. I'm gonna press Command E to slice it. And I'm just gonna move this kick so it starts right on the grid. And then what I'm gonna do is go up here to the upper left where it says 120, that's where the BPM is. Just gonna click on it. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys to adjust the BPM until it looks like everything lines up on the grid. Okay, so this is where the next kick comes in. And I want this to be all the way over there on the six. So I'm just gonna keep pressing up until everything lines up. All right, I'm gonna turn the click on by clicking on the dots right here to the upper left and we can listen. Nice, okay, great. So now I'm just gonna line both of these up so the vocal and the instrumental are lined up and everything is perfectly on the grid, okay. Is it selfish? So now we can finally actually dive into the production part. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that most production is split up into five elements, drums, bass, mids, vocals, and effects. So let's go ahead and start with the drums on this song. We have this drum loop here. So let's just start with the kick. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my personal sample pack here. I think this friendo kick might work. I'm just gonna copy their kick pattern. Okay, I'm pretty sure it just does that kick pattern the whole time. This is ours. And I'm just gonna go ahead and actually shorten these kick sounds. And all I'm doing here is I've copied it by pressing Command C and I'm just clicking on the old kick and pressing Command B to paste over it. And we can get rid of all this extra stuff here. Great. Next up, they have a rim shot in here. Let's find a rim shot. Ooh, I love that one. Here we go, let's find their pattern. They're going. Let's 
listen to our drums. And you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna turn down a couple of these kicks just by 2 dB, and that's gonna give these drums just a little bit of feel, just so it doesn't sound quite so much like a loop. What else do they have for drums? Okay, looks like that's it for the drums. Is it selfish? All right, I'm also gonna wanna add a shaker at some point. So I'm just gonna find a shaker sample. Perfect. Now we can see that this sample is 104 BPM. So to match it with the tempo of the project, all we have to do is just click warp right here. And then where it says BPM down here to the left, we just click and drag until we get to 104. So this BPM to the lower left is the BPM of the original sample. And then if you're warping it, Ableton will go ahead and match it to the BPM of the project. Obviously that sounds super fast. So another thing we can do is just press the times two button right here and that'll stretch it out. And then let's say I want the shaker to be a little bit more broken up instead of all wishy-washy. I can go ahead and go to beats. I can click on this little arrow with a stop sign here and then either use transients or I can do 16ths and then play with this 100 right here and lower it. Let's actually do eight. Is it so? Then another thing I like to do for drums, just to kind of mess them up a little bit, is I'm gonna click on the shaker track, hold shift and click on the rim shot, press command G and group them together. And then on that group, I'm gonna go to audio effects, go to drive and color, go to redux, and go to some dust, and just drag that onto the group. This is what it sounds like before. Very, very clean, but if you add some dust, Nice, that's sounding super cool in my opinion. Next up in their demo, they have guitar. Okay, I'm also gonna move these drums over because this is where the verse starts. Another thing you can do is map out the whole song so it's easier to know which section is which. So if this is the verse, I'm gonna find right where the verse begins and right click up here at the top and just say add locator and then type in verse, press enter. And now we know this is where the verse starts. And then we could say, oh, this is where the chorus starts right here. And you can go through the whole song and just map it out like that. That way when you're working, it's really easy. Like if you're playing something over here to just say, oh, I wanna jump to the verse now. So you can click up here start playing the verse so you can jump to the chorus, start playing the chorus. It's a great way to stay organized. All right, let's get into some guitar action here. All right, let me grab my guitar really quick. Okay, I'm just gonna tune really quick. Don't forget to tune. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just listen through, potentially write my own guitar part or adjust theirs a little bit and just record it in and I'll show you when I got it recorded. Okay, we've officially got the guitar recorded. Real quick, I made a huge mistake. Please, please never make this mistake. Make sure to save. I forgot to save. Command S. And then once you've saved your song, go ahead and hit file, collect all and save. That way it'll save all of these audio files within your project. So let me show you what I got for the guitar. And then I have a different guitar part that comes in here, just for some variety. Let me show you that real quick. You and me one day, if there's no one to run into, maybe. And what I like to do is I like to mix as I go. I'm gonna go ahead and put a compressor on the guitar. Same compressor I use on basically everything. The Waves CLA-2A, just makes stuff sound better. We can even put it on Mark's vocal. You can put it on the Vox preset. Keep on okay, that seems like that's when the chorus comes in, so I'm gonna keep those choppy guitar parts for that. Nice, that's starting to sound great. We have our drums, we have some mids, which is that guitar. Let's add one more layer for the mids and then we can move on to bass. Real quick, if you're enjoying this or learning anything at all, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and giving me the chance to help you make the best music that you're capable of. Okay, back to the video. Press Command Shift T to make a new MIDI track. 
Let's go ahead and look for some Ableton instruments here. I'm thinking maybe some kind of whirly or piano. We could try this whirly really quick. I think that's how it goes. Let's just imitate the guitar pattern with this. So we'll do long chords and then we will do some choppy stuff. Nice. And let's do the choppy thing. You know, it might be easier to just record this to a click. It's hard for me to play this because I have some latency with the keyboard because of the screen recording software, but... And then what we can do is we can just highlight this section, press Command J, and that's going to make it consolidated so it's its own MIDI clip. We can get rid of all this extra stuff that we don't want. And then we can fix all the notes that I played poorly. We can also press Command A to select all the notes, right click and hit quantize so the timing is good. This might take a little bit of TLC to get them sounding good. Great, now we have the whirly. Let's see how it sounds with the guitar. Awesome. All right, let's listen to the end of the verse going into the chorus. Nice, it's starting to come together. Let's go ahead and add some bass to it. Definitely want to make sure that we tune and let's get some cool bass stuff in there. Okay, so now we've got kind of the basic structure laid out in terms of the five elements. The only thing we're missing is effects. So if we want, we can just add a little sweep going into the chorus. Even just a reverse symbol like that could totally work. Okay, another thing I want to do is just process the bass a bit more. And I try not to use plugins that you guys don't have, because I know back in the day when I used to watch tutorials, I would be like, ah, I can't copy them. But the reality is every voice memo that you guys are going to produce out is going to be totally different. And as long as you stick to the five element formula, where you tackle the drums, the bass, the mids, the vocals, and then the effects, then your song is going to sound complete. So just trust me and stick to that formula. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video. I'm gonna work on what I already have right here. Just mix it a little bit, maybe add an element here or there, and I'll show you what you can do to totally finish the song and be able to mix it and master it and put it out on SoundCloud or Spotify or YouTube, whatever you wanna do. So hang in there and I'll show you what I got in one second with the magic of editing. All right, so I just did some mixing stuff. I added in an element here or there, and let me play you the finished product. You can hear what I got, and then I'll explain to you exactly how to finish your song. Is it so fish? Need it want you so badly. I've been holding on to nothing. Holding on for years. I've been thinking. And you and me one day. Just bringing stuff in over time. To run into. And the chorus. I'll just walk away. Yeah, I can keep on. Okay, so at this point, what I would do is I would copy and paste the verses over the verses, the choruses over the choruses, obviously, and I would make sure all the production was as finished as I could make it with that five step formula that I was talking about before moving on to mixing, mastering, and distribution. Once you're ready to mix, master, and distribute your song, go ahead and go to my video right up here. And that's gonna help you finish the last 25% of your song so you can put it out there for the world to hear and see what happens. Now, some of you guys are satisfied just watching YouTube videos like this, but I know that there's a certain percentage of you guys who wanna go above and beyond. You wanna learn all this stuff in explicit detail, step-by-step, step, and you want someone who you can ask questions to along the way. And for you guys, I have a paid program called Complete Producer Pro, where I teach you everything I know about how to make music from beginning to end, step-by-step. Step. And I also provide mentorship where I can give you feedback and answer any questions you have along the way. So I'll go ahead and put part of the premium training in the description of the video, and you can check that out and see if it's something that you're into. Either way, thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and I hope this inspired you to take some of your voice memos that are just sitting on your phone, to drag them onto your computer, and to produce some music around them. Obviously, if I was going to totally finish this song with Mark, I would have my instrumental, and I would be able to mute the vocals.
and I would get Mark to re-record the vocals, and then we could finish the song and put it out. So all that to say, more than anything, if you want to reach your full creative potential, then stop making excuses and start making music. Cheers.